Tyra Banks and her show do a great job of exposing the fallacies of the super single mother. Now they don't do it directly, they do it indirectly. Oftentimes they'll try to promote this whole idea of the, you know, super single mother who can do it all, but um, indirectly they have no clue of how they are, you know, exposing the world to the fallacies of the super duper single mother. Um, and I'm including just single mothers all together. You can throw in black, white, whatever, you know, whoever finds themselves in the whole single mother position who glamorizes it and acts as if it's a, a healthy alternative. Now it happens and people have to adjust, I understand, but we're living in a world with you know, an increasing divorce rate and related to that issue is the whole idea of women being able to raise kids by themselves. So, you know, one of the reasons why you are going to have an increased number you know, of divorces, women really think that they could do it by themselves. And what Tyra does is, and I said indirectly, she'll have shows dealing with, you know, uh, children and um, you know teenage girls you know they a lot of them center around girls issues that teenagers have young adults have and even kids have um, and what they don't tell you directly and as a dude if you ever ca catch an episode you can clearly see like if you're a guy and you watch the show you can clearly see that you know some of these mothers and some of these daughters don't have any sort of father in their life I don't even know if they even have an older brother because some of the issues that I see them dealing with, in my head I'm like, yo, if she had like an older brother or, you know, some sort of male presence, I heavily doubt this would be an issue. Um, especially if she had a father around. And what you are seeing is a lot of the issues that single mothers have with raising their daughters. So the show is really exposing themselves and is exposing all the hardships that single mothers have. You know, they have the mother on there, she's crying, she doesn't know what to do, my daughter's out of control, I want her to stop, you know, having these relationships with men. And they don't want to ask the question, nobody ever wants to ask, where's the father? That's the one question you never will hear on Tyra Banks. Where's the father? Or is there an older brother around? Is there some male presence? And nobody says anything. Right, and they act as if, uh, you know, we don't see this. And I'm like, this is what happens when you assume you don't need a male presence in your life and you opt to do things on your own. Right, there's a difference between circumstance where, quite frankly, there is no brother, there is no father around, but this is what happens when you opt into believing that, yo, you don't need a man around, I can do it by myself. And they get these issues. They try to take it to Tyra Banks, um, you know, and, they, and then Tyra Banks then tries to turn around and have a discussion about it and try to come up with options, but there is no options. There's nothing you can do. There really is nothing you can do, and you can say the same thing about a lot of these talk shows. You know, you guys remember Jenny Jones and, you know, all these other shows dealing with uh, women and their issues, and you always sit back and you have to ask yourself, where are the fathers? Where are the uncles? Where are the older brothers? They're not around, right? Um, and like I said, you're looking at women who have said, I can do it by myself. Right? The single independent mother is a proud position, and we're new, and we're on the come up, and we have no problems, and we can do it all by ourselves. And Tower Banks does a great job of indirectly exposing, to the point where they don't even know they're doing it. But, you know, from a guy's point of view, you can clearly see it. Clearly see it. You know, the episode that everybody's familiar with is the whole idea with the hair thing and just the fact that, yo, where you, you can tell, right? Some of the women, <clears throat> you know, they were single mothers. Some of them, you know, you can imply. But you just look at that episode with the whole, you know, hair thing and they had the little girl segment and you look at these women and you're like, hmm, are there any sort of fathers around? Probably not. These are all single women dealing with these issues. Okay, you know, the same women who have it under control, the same women who know what they're doing, um, the same women who want to pump up the whole idea of the single mother being a healthy and proper alternative to the broken family, right? You know, you see what they're going through, right? So, um, hopefully, the women can see it and understand what's going on and understand our viewpoints and actually see 
some of the shit that happens when you, you know, choose this lifestyle of planned single parenthood. That's what I want to call it, right? You know, because you have mistakes, but you have a lot of women who are purposely entering the whole world of single motherhood because they are told you can do it and they're filled with these one in a million, you know, glamorized stories about the single mother who made it. Right, but if you look at Tyra Banks, her show is filled with nothing but single mothers who can't get the job done. So you guys holler at me, tell me how you feel, take it easy, God bless.